Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, grumpy old fart here. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a movie review of a really funny movie, really great movie, called Deal of the Century. It's from 1983. It is a comedy crime sort of thing yeah it, it, it's hard to explain let me get into the plot here um a cd arms dealer sort of lucks into a product and then you know I'm not really sure if lux is the right word but he lucks into a product that allows him and his partner to swim with the big boys as always complications exacerbate the situation as his partner finds religion and the wife of the previous salesman wants a cut now <clears throat> this is back in the day this was pretty good but you don't hear much about it these days this is one of those under the radar comedies that surprises you um usually chevy chase plays the wimpy smart ass in this one he's more of a tough street smart smart ass um the cast it's got a really really great cast it's got chevy chase sigourney weaver uh, Gregory Hines, Vince Edwards, Eduardo Ricard, William Marquez, really, really great cast. Um, the, the, <clears throat> in the, in the mid eighties, the reason I think that they did this video or this movie is because in the mid eighties, there were, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff in the news about <sighs> stuff in central and South America uh, proxy wars going on, lots of uh, political struggles going on within the countries themselves, civil wars, that kind of thing. And <clears throat> America was found to be funneling guns and money to certain factions that they wanted to win. Now, I'm not I'm not judging that one way or the other, but that is what was going on. Um, the biggest thing that I can I can think of that was found out there was the Iran Contra deal, where they were it was a guns for drugs for money thing, and, and it, it was illegal because Congress, as I understand it, didn't approve of it. Um, this is going to sound weird, but I I don't I don't I don't have an opinion on that one way or the other. Because Ronald Reagan apparently didn't. Well, I'm not going to get into that. Never mind. Never mind. But anyway, that's that's why they did this 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 movie. And the 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 thing about a good comedy is that it makes use of reality. It has to be based in reality. If you tell a joke, there has to be a glimmer of truth in it. Otherwise, it's not funny. You know. Um. If you. If you're making a movie and you want it to be funny, there has to be an element of reality in the in the story. And in this, there were arms dealers all over the world, American arms dealers all over the world, specifically in Central and South America. And these these arms dealers were making money hand over fist. Um These third world countries were buying up arms from anybody they could, and American arms dealers were making bank. That's all I'm saying. So, <clears throat> this movie is was I think was based on that, and it's a really good movie. Now, <coughs> excuse me. When I do these, I try to do a standout, and I I really and the, I mean there's nobody in here that's bad. But the one I really like is Gregory Hines. He plays Ray Kasternak. He's a, a pilot, a veteran pilot who who finds religion. He's uh, Chevy Chase's partner. And uh, he Hines really shines in this role. He's He plays a damaged veteran pilot, military pilot, test pilot. And 
his conscience is what finally his conscience is what finally pulls his friend and partner back from the brink of a huge mistake. Um, whenever you're in a deal to make money, sometimes you focus on the money and not the consequences of the deal. It's not just, I mean, it's one thing to deal guns to factions. It's another thing to give them... <sighs> the whole thing is about an airplane. And the this airplane was, was badass. Any, any faction that got it was going to rule that area. They were unchallenged. And it would have been a huge mistake to sell this to these people. Gregory Hines' character, Ray, pulls his friend, Chevy Chase, back from the brink of a huge mistake with his conscience. And it's a really great story. And it's funny. It's got action. It's got adventure. It's got romance. It's A lot of it is tongue-in-cheek because it's Chevy Chase and that's his style. But man, it's a really great movie. If you get a chance to see it, it's called Deal of the Century from 1983. Really great movie. Hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. Devo Poland, a scientific representative of a pacifist race called the Gandiri, is sent away as an exchange officer. His objective, to learn the one skill his species never developed, to fight. And he's sent to learn that skill from the one species who does it better than any other in the galaxy, humans. If you like science fiction with an upbeat military tone, check out my novel, Vanguard One.